It's the Beatles from the beginning to the end. It's their solo careers. It's their humor. It's their incredible music. It's the British invasion. It's their American adversaries. It's an historical musical education. It's the Beatles and a whole lot more. A Beatles fan's paradise. It's Beatles Arama. Tune in. You'll love it. This is Pat Matthews of Pat Matthews Productions, and I want to welcome you to Beatles Arama TV. Your favorite interviews and video all in one place, right here on Beatles Arama TV. Beatles Arama TV is on the air. Hey, Beatle people, Pat Matthews here for Today in Beatles History. You can get that shirt if you make a donation to help bring back Beatles Arama Internet Radio. And uh, Warren's going to put the stuff on the screen so where you can go, the link to uh, go to our, our GoFundMe so that we can get this going. So far, it's off to a shaky start, but uh, I know you're going to come through in the end. And then also, we'd like you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please do that, okay? So on this day, of September 4th, Diesel Hoffman took pictures during a pre-session rehearsal. They were the first pictures that Diesel Hoffman took of the Beatles. And those were those old black and white grainy ones with Pete Best in, and they're uh, in front of an old uh, railroad car in Germany. That's the one we're talking about. In 1963, there was a concert at the Gamalt in Worcester. And uh, also, She Loves You hit number one. It was the first week in the ranking in the new Musical Express chart. In 1964, the Beatles were on tour in the U.S., and they played a concert at the uh, Milwaukee Auditorium, of all places. Let's see what else. Eric Easton, the Rolling Stones' joint manager, the band, the Rolling Stones, you know, denied reports that Brian Epstein was bidding to buy their management con contract. That never happened. Uh, let's see what else. 1965, Help was number one all over the world. Help, I need somebody. Help, not just anybody. Help, you know I need someone. Help. Uh, 1968 in Twickenham Film Studios, they began filming clips for Hey Jude, and Revolution, which became like one of the first music videos. It's my pleasure to introduce now in their first live appearance for goodness knows how long in front of an audience, the Beatles. And uh, David Frost records the introduction for the clip of Hey Jude to present it later on his program, Frost on Sunday. In 1971, Bangladesh by George Harrison was in the top 40 on Billboard magazine's Hot 100. And then uh, let's see what else. Let it let him in in 1976. Eighth week in the top 40 for Paul McCartney and Wings. And then Take It Away, also by Paul McCartney. Eighth week in the top 40 in Billboard in 1982. So you see, the Beatles were successful as Beatles and as post-Beatles as solo careers. And we all know that. That's what makes them great. So thank you, Beatle people, for watching. And uh, please donate if you can. And please, whatever you do, subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Pat Matthews signing off until tomorrow. Imagine a bright, colorful scene with four birds perched on telephone lines singing in harmony. They sing the timeless tune by the Beatles, and your bird can sing. The birds sit together, chirping the lyrics. Tell me that you've got everything you want and your bird can sing. But you don't get me. You don't get me. Two of the birds continue. You say you've seen seven wonders, and your bird is green but you can't see me, you can't see me. As the chorus begins, the second bird sings, when your prized possessions start to weigh you down, look in my direction, I'll be round, I'll be round. John Lennon's voice echoes, when your bird is broken, will it bring you down? You may be awoken, I'll be round, I'll be round. Finally, all four birds join in. You tell me that you've heard every sound there is, and your bird can swing, but you can't hear me, you can't hear me. Credits, the Beatles, and your bird can sing. It's the Beatles from the beginning to the end. It's their solo careers. It's their humor. It's their incredible music. It's the British invasion. It's their American adversaries. It's an historical musical education. It's the Beatles and a whole lot more. A Beatles fan's paradise. It's this is Pat Matthews of Pat Matthews Productions, and I want to welcome you to Beatles Arama TV. Your favorite interviews and videos 
all in one place. Right here on Beatles Around the TV, our YouTube channel.